So we're delivering uh, VP9 in Fragment MP4. Um, so on all our H.264 uh, streams today, you'll see that they're a uh, traditional MPEG uh, transport stream. Uh, so this is a key change for us and a, an opportunity for us to kind of modernize our delivery format. Um, so we actually combined Fragment MP4 with HLS. Uh, so around 2016, Apple added uh, Fragment MP4 support into the HLS specification, and we're kind of taking advantage of that. Um, of course, one, one key thing here is VP9 is not supported by Apple. Um, but the HLS specification is flexible enough in terms of the codec string and the file formats that you can deliver uh, Fragment MP4 through HLS. Um, uh, the spec for delivering uh, VP9 MP4 is, I've linked this here, it's actually very straightforward. It, I think it took us only a, a small amount of time to add this into our packaging solution. And of course, you can check uh, uh, your web browser if you use a media source extensions API, you can do a very simple check if, if VP9 is supported in the MP4 container using this uh, very simple code snippet. Uh, so as you mentioned, a lot of browsers do support um, Fragment MP4 with VP9, um, uh, Chrome, Firefox, uh, now Edge, uh, and this goes back at least six months or so. So most modern browsers will support this, that support VP9. Uh, of course, our container choice. So why did we choose uh, Fragment MP4? Uh, we have a lot of packaging and tooling around Fragment MP4 already that we had been developing, for example, with our uh, DRM streams. Uh, it's compatible with HLS, whereas uh, WebM is not. Um, we'd also like to, to use this uh, same kind of packaging solution to deliver other codecs. And so, for example, if you want to deliver HEVC um, to iOS devices, we would need to use Fragment MP4. And if you also want to experiment with AV1, this is kind of like the container that most people would be using to deliver AV1 instead of WebM, even though WebM does support AV1 as well. 